Here we're looking at Heiden Heinz Universal LCD Display, the ND780. You may be currently using one of these older units. Well, these older units have now been replaced with this new high contrast LCD display. The LCD display is very universal in that you can actually set it up to have anywhere between one to three axes. And I can turn the axes on and off. It doesn't come in a one axis version, it doesn't come in a two axis version, it only comes in a full three axis version. So if you're putting this on a mill or a lathe, you will have the optional third axis to uh, turn on in a later date in order to add the third axis of input. Here I have it set up with the X axis using a Heidenhain LS688 scale. I'm using a Heidenhain LS388 scale on the Y axis. And I have it set up also for a rotary axis being used on the third axis, which I've called the B axis. Now you can see that I have it set up for very high resolution. I just wanted to show you that it can go out six decimal places. This is currently reading in five millionths display with these 10 micron accuracy scales. You can, also, you can also get three micron scales and five micron scales as well in a very similar enclosed body. Now some of the features of the ND780, you'll notice the, the high contrast display. You'll see in the top left corner here the D0. That indicates that I'm at datum 0. There are 10 datums on this display, datum 0 through 9. There are 16 tools. You can see here I'm on tool number 1. This is the feed rate, and the feed rate will be displaying in either inch or metric, depending upon what mode you're in. Next here is a stopwatch that can be turned on and off very easily in the job setup in order to time a job if you bill by the hour. Currently we're set up in inch mode. I am in data mode as opposed to the triangle which indicates delta or distance to go mode. You'll notice when I press this button down here it changes to distance to go mode and the delta lights up. You see these bars here. This is telling me which direction I'm going and how far away from zero I am. And As I approach zero you can see that the bar gets much closer and it actually speeds up the closer I get to zero. And there I just passed zero. This is a screen that you'll see when you're using some of the advanced features in the display like bolt hole patterns. This icon up here is for set. It displays set and zero. If I am in set mode, then I press the axis, I preset a value, press enter, and I'm able to count from that value. If I'm in zero mode, it's a quick and easy zero to zero the display. In addition to the intuitive layout of the screen, there is the help feature. The help feature actually contains the entire manual in digital format. Simply press the help and I'm going to press list of topics. I'll exit out of this help screen so I can show you what the tool table looks like. There are 16 tools. If you want to add or edit a tool, just select that tool, press enter, and put in the desired information that you need. Everything is referenced to your datum's position. Now back out to the main screen. We've already spoken about the, the datum and the delta and the zero set button. I'll go to the next page. Here are your datums. Here's where you can select which datum you want to be in. The next one is having. Let's say that I am here on the, my x-axis at 1.5 inches. I want to find the center of that. I simply press half, press the x-axis, and it cuts the x-axis in half. That's very useful if you want to find one side of your part. Use the edge finder to find the other side of your part, and then date them down the middle. Next here we have the pattern button. The pattern button is going to give you the most power out of this display. This is where you can select from different types of hole patterns, circle pattern or linear pattern. I'm going to go into circle pattern and I'm going to select a full circle. I'm going to tell it that I want to do eight holes and I want my x-axis center to be at 1.5 inches and my y-axis center to be at 2.5 inches. I can see up here that I have multiple screens so I don't want to hit enter yet. I want to arrow down to get more information. The radius, you see it bold, showed me the, the radius line here. It's asking me what I should have the radius set to on my hole pattern. I'm going to set, select 0.5 inches. My starting angle, where should this first hole be off the X positive line? I'm going to say I want it at 30 degrees. And step angle, it automatically calculates because I did 360 degrees with eight holes in it. 
There's one more feature on this display that I want to show you. I'm not going to bore you with all of the different setup options in here, but I do want to show you the diagnostic screen. The diagnostic screen is something that I may ask you to go to if you call me up saying that you've got a problem with your display. If I go to encoder test and I press the X axis, you're going to see the list of you. Now this is the same list of you that we actually see coming up on our advanced oscilloscopes. Heidenheim calls this a pseudo oscilloscope because it's not truly an oscilloscope, but it is giving you a representation of what the signal looks like. And on every axis we can see that. Now I will be able to walk you through being able to access this. If you retrofit this display to an older machine that may already have Heidenheim scales, you may see a list of you that looks like this. It's not exactly perfect, but it's okay. But in the event that you have a dirty scale or a scale that's poorly misaligned, you may see a signal that looks something like that. Really bad. You notice the A and the B are down to nearly 3 and 5 microamps. That is where your display would stop reading and you would actually scrap parts.